Okay, well, welcome to um, this video, and today we're going to be talking about how physics, specifically momentum and inertia, plays a key part in car collisions and why wearing your seatbelt is incredibly important. All right, so first let's talk about um, inertia. What is inertia? Inertia is this is this fancy word. It's got um, you know it's crazy English spelling going on and um, in reality inertia is uh, is, is really simple um, Isaac Newton way back when once said that um, an object in motion will stay in motion unless acted upon by an outside force and an object that isn't in motion that is standing still um, will remain standing still unless acted upon by an outside force as well. Now this is illustrated by this picture, and this picture on the ball on top um, says that, uh, you know, th this ball isn't moving and nothing is acting upon this ball, and so um, it's going to stay not moving um, on, you know, indefinitely until something does happen to it. The ball on the bottom actually is moving, and it will stay moving until something else happens to it. And that something else could be a hand, it could be a wall, it could be um, gravity. Even gravity could pull it down to the ground, and uh, it would stop moving. Um, otherwise, it would just keep on moving. This would most likely happen in um, space, for instance. There's no gravity, there's no air resistance, there's... Um, nothing that would impede this ball from continuing in in space in a straight line, um, and and so it would it would go on indefinitely. All right, now let's let's move on to the really really fun stuff. Um, there's this another crazy thing called momentum, and um, and momentum is like I said it's 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 crazy it is it's absolutely nuts actually it's not um the way momentum works is it actually hinges upon inertia which we already talked about and inertia says that you know this this uh thing this this moving object will never move will never stop moving it will, it will keep on going forever and ever and ever and never 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 until all the cows come home um so, uh, what's, what's momentum? What does momentum have to do with inertia? Well, momentum is, um, it is, is basically the, f the force that is pushing a moving object around. Um, it, is, it is the force behind it. And momentum really hinges on how much that object weighs and how fast it's going. Um, so, uh, so, yeah, momentum is just, is just the measure of how much f how much force um, this moving object has, and how much force it is, it is exacting upon its little invisible line in space um, towards the stars. Um, so that's what momentum is, and uh, this little handy illustration will show you um, that this this pink box is uh, it it has a mass, it has a weight, it's 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 you know. It, it's standing in space and it's obviously moving and uh, behind it is the velocity and velocity just means speed it's just a fancy word for speed um, and ahead of it is the momentum and the momentum is is, is like I said it's just the force it's the force of the, of the speed um, pushing the weight around and and that's really all it is is just force all right so now the lecture's over we're gonna we're gonna see a funny little video um, and this is where the seatbelts come in, and and remember the seatbelts are are very very important. And this and this funny little video is going to show it um, is going to show how important they are. So we have this skateboard, and we have a little uh, bionicle friend. We all love bionicles; they're totally awesome. And um, he strapped in on a seat with the seatbelt on. And so uh, what we're going to do is that we're going to push this this skateboard. Um, uh, towards this curb with him on the seat in the seat belt and um, and and here's where momentum ties into this when 
when the when the bionicle is sitting on the seat on the skateboard and the skateboard is moving, the bionicle is also moving. Um, and it may not seem like it because he's not moving on the skateboard. The skateboard is the one that's moving, but he's also moving through space at the same velocity, at the same speed, with the same momentum as the skateboard is. And when the skateboard hits the uh, the the curb, um, the 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 seatbelt strains against the bionicle because he's also moving. All right, go. So here we go. And we're going, and we're going, going, oh my god, ah, 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 oh, curb, oh, seatbelt saved us, yay! Alright, on this one, there is no seatbelt, and you're going to see how momentum, well, it doesn't really save you if you're not wearing a seatbelt. Oh god, ah! No kidding aside, um, the seatbelts really do save you, and as you saw in the first video, um, the seatbelt helped our bionic friend from not flying off the, uh, skateboard in the second one, because he didn't have his seatbelt on, um, the skateboard stopped moving when it hit the curb, and the bionicle didn't. He went, he had a nice little acrobatic somersault into the grass, and it was spectacular. Now, um, obviously, as you've just seen, and as I just said, um, seatbelts are really important, and they will save you um, they, they will save your life, and they are, and they will protect you in car crashes that look a lot like this, and not so much like this, but it's, it's, it's nice to fantasize now and then. Okay, well, that about wraps it up, and I'd like to thank you for, uh, lending your eyes and ears, um, for my droning whale voice and uh, this really boring lecture and um, and I hope that you will take this home and always wear your seatbelt when you're in your car or your helmet on your bike yada 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 thanks again see you around